you'll probably remember from your, your physics classes um, that, that a, a quantum mechanical object, if it's disturbed, you can, you can, it's called freeze it out or it becomes classical. So um, every quantum computer has uh, as its building block a thing called a qubit, a quantum bit. Uh, and a quantum bit is like a digital bit that's in every computer. It's sort of the building blocks of all computers. But it has this special characteristic that it can be in what's called the superposition of zero and one at the same time. So if you step back from that, you're, you, this object is actually in two different states at the same time. And it's not like half in the state of one to half in the other. It is in those two states at the same time. It sounds spooky. Einstein called it spooky, but it, but it is uh, a fundamental law of, of quantum mechanics, and it is the building block of a, of a quantum computer. So these qubits that uh, are all in this superposition, which is a very delicate state, and whenever um, a cosmic ray or uh, some kind of interference uh, hits that, that, compu that computation, um, it, it freezes it out to a classical state. So you have to, the, the trick is to keep the calculation going in this superposition for, for, for the duration of the computational cycle. It's refrigerated at a temperature which is near absolute zero. So you probably remember, you know, minus 273 degrees centigrade is the lowest uh, temperature they called the thermodynamic limit, or, or, or the lowest temperature that's physically possible in the universe. This machine runs at 0.01 Kelvin, or 10 millikelvin, above that. So unless there's any other you know, intelligent life in the universe, this is the coldest uh, environment on the planet, uh, in the universe, that this machine has to run in. Like, for instance, interstellar space is at 4 Kelvin, which is much, much warmer than, than our operating temperature. So that, that, that's not the only part of it. We have to create a magnetic vacuum and a, an air vacuum. So there's this coffee can sized environment that has this um, incredibly low temperature and this vacuum and this magnetic vacuum that is probably among the purest environments in the universe. There are no naturally occurring environments like this. You don't buy a quantum computer for the economics. Uh, but that will change, as, the, as I said, as the power of the machine grows, uh, there can certainly be just an economic benefit of using this for certain uh, problem types versus classical computing.